This is Draconcoliasis, which is also known as the guinea worm. This worm is a multicellular eukaryotic organism and is also a nematode in the class of worms. Its life cycle starts in its embryotic stage when it is released from a mature female worm into a nearby water supply. The embryos are then taken up by water fleas in which they reside in the stomachs of the water fleas as larvae. And then a host human will consume infected water supplies which have the water fleas in them. And when the water fleas are digested by the host human's stomach, the stomach, <clears throat> excuse me, the larva of the worms then attaches itself to the stomach tissue and proceeds to absorb and mature nutrients. More detailed diagram. In 1986, there were 3.5 million reported cases of the guinea worm. In 2005, those reported cases had dropped down to 10,674. And now, in 2012, there are only 521 reported cases. The guinea worm is primarily found in Africa. The rapid decrease in the cases is due to the Draconcoliasis eradication program. The guinea worm is rarely fatal. The only deaths that are reported are due to mistreatment of the infected areas or internal infections due to the worm. The primary mode of transportation and infection is when the guinea worm is ingested by the human. The guinea worm larva travel in the stomachs of the water fleas. As the water fleas are digested by the human stomach, the larva attach themselves to the stomach lining and begin feeding up the nutrients present there. Then over a long period of time, the worms begin to mature. A diagram of water fleas. After the larvae are ingested, again they bury themselves into intestinal and stomach tissue. From there they absorb the nutrients and begin to mature very slowly. After a period of roughly three months, the male and females reproduce, after which the male dies, but the female continues to mature for an additional eight to twelve months. When the female is ready to release eggs, she causes a blister to form on the skin through releasing a certain chemical. This chemical can cause certain symptoms, such as fatigue, vomiting, fever, diarrhea, dizziness, nausea, and it also inflames the skin around the blister with a burning sensation. This burning sensation causes the host human to wish to put the afflicted area into a nearby water source, in which, at which time the female is able to release the mature eggs she has developed. Incidentally, no symptoms are present until the female is ready to release her eggs. The immune system's only reaction to the chemical is an inflammatory response around the afflicted area. As of now, no vaccine or drug exists for treatment. But this is because the treatment can only consist of taking out the worm from the human, which can take anywhere between weeks to months because the worms can grow up to a meter long inside the human's body. And if they are broken off when they are being extracted, the remaining part of the worm inside the body can begin to rot and cause an internal infection. To reduce the number of cases, the Draconcoliasis Eradication Program is educating afflicted areas and working to disinfect the water supplies of those areas.
It is difficult to know the exact number of cases because the disease is only present in areas where there is an infected water supply. And oftentimes those areas have, are cut off from the outside world. The best way to limit this disease is to filter the water supplies to make them clean. Don't get the worm. It will worm its way into your body.